Welcome back and we are in the glorious North Wales. So we arrived last night in the, the darkness of the night, about 12 o'clock, and we woke up to this, which is absolutely stunning. Yeah, we wanted to get away earlier yesterday, but we've been really lucky and TomTom Tom have approached us and asked us to try out their TomTom Tom Go Camper sat-nav device. So we were waiting for that to arrive yesterday by courier. They overnighted it to us. Once that arrived, we were all packed up and ready to go, but we needed to install the maps and they were just over eight gigabytes in size. So it took about an hour to do the installation of the maps. You have to do it via the Wi-Fi. So we did that at home. I've actually wanted a dedicated sat nav for a while. Um, so it was just amazing when they uh, approached us. We'll see how it, it fares and stuff, because as you know what we're like, we don't like to stick to the, the normal main roads, we like to, to go off. So the whole idea of this Go Camper thing is it's built specifically for campers. So you put in all your uh, vehicle's uh, dimensions and it kind of works out cleverly the roads that you can and can't go down. And of course, this wouldn't be Explore Buddies if there is no drama involved in our videos. And we already started our trip with a catastrophic error. We forgot our pillows. Oh yeah, so we arrived last night. We literally got here um, at midnight because it was about a six hour journey from where we live to here. Arrived at midnight and realized that we have no pillows to sleep on. Yeah. So we need to find a supermarket. We've got no mobile signal here at all, but the TomTom Tom Go Camper has a points of interest built into it. So I'm really hoping it will point us in the direction of a supermarket where we can actually go and buy some pillows. So I think that's one of the features that we might also find quite useful with it. I'd love to say that we've got a plan, but we haven't. And that's the beauty of the Explorer Buddies is we just drive from day to day. It's amazing coming to North Wales now, I kind of get a real sense of achievement because when we used to come to North Wales and we used to stay in bed and breakfasts or glamping and I think we stayed in all kinds of things. I used to travel around and look up at the, the mountains and just imagine being on top of them but I don't know what ever stopped me but coming back here now, you know especially sat here looking out I can kind of see the Arran Ridge which I've been up and I can see Cad Idris which I've been up about four times now and yeah I do get a sense of achievement and I never thought I could do that kind of stuff. Winter turn to spring I remember everything from Wichita This town is on its knees you know God is overseas I'm telling you Oh, it's more to this than what you see You know this town's got the best of me Are we sure it's the last time? Sure that this is the last time So that's us, four new pillows and four new pillowcases, all good. Just put up some supplies for a little picnic and we are going to head to the beach now.
The tales we were told we would never grow old in a witchy town. Barmouth is so different to how I remember it because the last time we came here must have been six years ago and it was for my birthday which is in May. It was really grey and really dreary here. It was really dead. There was nobody around. Half of the shops weren't even open. And now there's this whole holiday vibe going on here. It's lovely and warm. There's lots of really happy looking people wandering around. So. Barmouth is nothing like I remembered it being so I'm quite glad that we have actually come back here because it's given a whole new light on the place. Right we're on the road spent a lovely afternoon on the beach swimming having a picnic and just generally chilling out. When we first came to Barmouth ages ago long before van life we drove down this dead end road to this sort of mountain lake. Don't know the name of it I roughly know where it is so using the Tom Tom, I've programmed it in. Hopefully it's going to take us all the way there. Let's go. So good old Scott, he's in the van cooking up some dinner for us and he's left me in the sunshine with my glass of rosé, which is my new drink of choice lately. Um, it's been so lovely to be in Wales in this glorious sunshine. I fell in love with Wales years ago from the first time we came here but I've only ever really experienced North Wales in rain, it's always been grey, it's always been a bit cold and it's just so different to experience it when everything is so lush and green and vibrant from the sunshine. We have been so lucky with this weather that we're having. It just, it makes so much difference to be able to enjoy it in the sunshine. It's, um, yeah, feeling really blessed. We scattered like trees, sometimes in line, but I'm down all the time. interesting on this trip actually being a like a brand ambassador you know we were so excited to be approached by TomTom Tom and actually asked to try out their device for our trip this is the first time that we've ever done anything like that before yeah and as much as you hope the day will come where you know you do get paid and stuff like that it also worries me because I see so many YouTube people kind of go down that route and kind of lose their identity and and why they originally got into it. But the reality is, is like we are full time students. We don't have a great deal of money. We, you know, we we have to take these opportunities. Um, That's the thing. But it's about being selective about what opportunities, what products you do incorporate into your channel. And, you know, if it were like teeth whitening, then no, that's not relevant to us. Maybe we need it, but that's not relevant to us. So the thing is, is, you know, you've always said that you want a sat nav because before you were using your telephone as your sat nav. And every time you wanted to take a call or a message, you, you know, it was just a pain for you. So Yeah, yeah this is nice because, um, I can use the hands through and still see the sat nav to know where I'm going. So, yeah, and it, it just—it was just lucky that um, 
you know a sat nav company approached us like tom tom yeah um and it's just a you you know and i'm not just saying this it's a cool little device and it's something that i've wanted so if we're kind of getting offered to be um brand ambassadors for things that i i love you know i just yeah. hope you know mountain hardware or hillingberg or anything <laughs> like that wants me to become brand ambassadors for for hiking and stuff so um but no tom tom it, it was just really cool and and i've been mindful on this trip of you know not to ram it down people's throats and kind of you know um yeah you want to just kind of put it in in a natural way but yeah. in a way that's still going to please you know the company that you're working for and, and yeah it's been definitely a learning curve and a challenge and, and it's been quite time consuming as well and the nature of the beast is we have to face reality is is there is some kind of purist that you know they don't like any advertising and we have to kind of accept that we could lose some subscribers because we 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 are doing this with tom tom but at the end of the day we have to earn a living rain and what a difference a day makes we've been huddled in the van all morning waiting for a break in this rain but i don't think we're gonna get one so we're getting itchy feet now i think what we might do is get back on the road we're gonna stick the old tom tom on and see if it can help us discover some new roads that we haven't driven down before. Could also do with finding maybe a shower at some point. So that's another thing that Tom Tom might help us with because it's a go camper version. It basically has points of interest, including campsites. So I could definitely do with kind of scoping out where the local campsites are, seeing if I can find us a shower. Yeah definitely time. Okay so these are all the, the cool little points of interest places that you can go and I've just noticed because we were going to head over towards Bengala so there's this place which is Linguenet campsite so they've got a little lake there which we might be able to take the kayak so that could be perfect so let's lock and load right let's go let's see how long so it's 3.36 now it's going to get us there for about 10 past 4 you will arrive at your destination at 4.10pm there we go We are staying and here is the lake where hopefully we'll have a little play in our kayak tomorrow. Not looking too appetizing at the moment but hopefully that will change. So this is a really cool feature that we've got on this TomTom Tom Go Camper which is a feature that I've wanted for a while now. The number of times we've just driven around and we'll see somewhere and we'll have a look and then we'll come back and then afterwards we're never really 100% sure where we've been and Scott has to spend ages on a map kind of working out what route that we went on and when people ask us you know where did you go what was the name of that place Scott has to sit with a map and work out where it is whereas on this TomTom Tom Go Camper what you can do is you can set to record route which is really cool so you set it to record and then when you've arrived at whatever your final destination is you just put stop recording you can name it whatever you want and then it adds it to my route i've named this one pizza campsite because we're a little bit excited about the fact that there's stone baked pizzas here so it's great i can see all the roads that we've driven on so if we ever want to come back here again to any of these roads we'll know exactly where they are and if any of you guys want us to share where we've actually been I can share this actual map with you what have you got there? pizza 
Thank you for watching. Do let us know what you thought. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. Check out our other videos. Head over to our website. We've got a range of blogs that tell you more about us and Florence. Check out our new range of merchandise, helping us to continue producing our films.